while Outlander had a villain in Galus and Outlander Season 3, the show has missed one like Black Jack Randall. Stephen Bonnet proved to be the heartless villain the show has needed. Novels get away with being more about life and the drama. TV shows don't. They need action each episode and some sort of threat, which is something Stephen Bonnet offer in the most recent episode of Outlander. And he's the villain the show has missed since Black Jack Randall. Yes, Galus Duncan Abernathy was the villain for the last season but she had her limits. She was only around for two episodes and the threat didn't quite feel certain. It was clear that Claire and Jamie would stop her. With Bonnet, we have no idea what to expect from him. Okay, those who have read the books do, but as show first or show only fans, we don't quite know how far he'll go. He's more like Black Jack Randall than any other character, and what a formidable villain to start the series with, right? In the most recent episode, we saw just how far Bonnet is willing to go to protect his own life. And yes, I believe he threw the girl out of the ship to protect himself. He didn't care about his crew or the other passengers on the ship. He just didn't want to get smallpox. Roger was so scared about how far Bonnet was willing to go that he hit a mother and baby out of fear the baby would be thrown overboard. That shows the type of man Roger thinks Bonnet is. That part of the episode was intense. Those who hadn't read the books and have no idea about the storylines to come had no idea how Roger was going to get out of this predicament. It was impossible to tell what Bonnet would do after finding Roger with Morag and Jeremiah McKenzie. In this moment, he proved that he could possibly be worse than Black Jack Randall. And this is something the show missed last season. A villain makes a show more intense. There's a level of danger and uncertainty. Main characters are put at risk and you are left wondering how they're going to get out of their predicament. Fates are uncertain, which means many people are more likely to tune in. Did you think a villain was missing last season? What did you think of Bonnet in the most recent episode? Share your thoughts in the comments below.